Well, hello everyone. This is Pastor Shaquilla. Um, I'm sitting outside enjoying this nice breeze, even though it's extremely hot. When the breeze do blow, it feels good. And I just wanted to kind of share something with you that I read this morning. Um, but right now, my current situation, my grandson is in the pool and I'm just sitting out here enjoying the day. Let me see. Let me show you what he's doing. Zion, look at the camera and say hello, everybody. Yes, he's having a good time. Good time, he says. Very good. Very good. Enjoy yourself, baby. <laughs> well, I just wanted to share with you a little bit, um, a little bit of love that I got this morning. Um, if you're like me, I, I've gotten to a place in my physical health where I've gotten a little complacent and um, I don't know if some of you all remember about two or three years ago I was out um, on the track or Planet Fitness and I was doing a lot of walking and exercising then I hurt my hip um, my sciatic nerve and then I just kind of drifted away from that and since then I've been feeling I don't know about you aches and pains and oh my god and then you kind of feel like you're getting old and so my husband he's been saying baby we got to get moving we got to exercise it's like okay i don't know about you but one of the hardest things for me is to just start once i get started i'm good but just to start is one of the hardest things so i read a magazine today and i'm going to share this with you enjoying everyday life it's a magazine um, that Joyce Myers has um, put together and I just received it in the mail today and it talks about and it's very encouraging to me it talks about as you get older you think well man I'm not that you know useful I can't do this or I can't do that if I was younger I did this I did that but now I can't do that but you know in reading this article and it's on I mean the very first article she says, ask yourself what you can do. And it's so important. What can you do? A lot of times we concentrate on the I can't. I can't do this anymore. I can't. But what can you do? So ask yourself, what can you do? And then do that. Be successful. Be intentional. And be consistent. And then it says, set your mind to be happy. Which is so important. Because as you get older, you don't have that younger body and that younger feel. Um, and so you 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 kind of lose that thing that gives you that joy and that happiness. Set your mind and say, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be happy. And then one of the other um, subtopics in that same article is to get moving and to keep moving. And I'm just going to read. It says, make an effort to keep moving. And she said, one of the advice, the best pieces of advice I can offer you is to do as much as you can for as long as you can. It says, I have heard that the more you move, the more you can move. And the less that you move, then the less that you will move. So she's in, in, in trying to encourage us that even as we get older, she did disclose her age, and I'm not going to tell you her age, but I can tell you my age. Usually I say I got to ask my husband, but I've recently asked him, so I know that I am 53 years old or going to be 53. I'm not sure, um, but I've been feeling aches and pains in my body, and, and it's like, girl, you got to get moving. You got to get, Joyce says you got to get moving among other people. But I'm just very encouraged um, because it starts with your mind. She says, having a healthy mindset will make all of them, everything that you do will make it worth living. And so it's very important that your mindset, you know that I must be complete and whole spiritually and in my body. You know, it's, it's so important. And so I want to be physically fit to do the things that God have called me to do. And so you have to, I'm not saying you got to go out there and lift a hundred pound, 200 pound weights and, but you got to do what you can do. It says, um, she wants to challenge us to ask yourself an important question. 
Will you simply let yourself get old or will you age gracefully, purposefully and wisely, allowing God to use you in every season of your life? If you will embrace each season with fresh hope in him, I believe your latter years will be absolutely wonderful. So we got to encourage ourselves. Let's let go the I can't. And I'm talking to me first. I can't. I don't have time. Um, that's too much. You know, and say, I can, I can. The Bible says we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. So embrace that scripture and say, I can do. So sit back, think about it. What can I do? I can't do this anymore, but I can do this. I can do this. I can do. And then set your mind on doing it, being consistent and being intentional. Can we do that? I don't know about you. But I want to grow old gracefully, being busy and, and not being complacent. Your life is up to you. God wants to use us in so many ways. Will you allow him to use you? And so, again, I'm talking to me first. I just wanted to share, share it with you. Um, this magazine really is a blessing. This is her April, May, and June magazine of this year. I know another one will be coming out soon. And I just love her articles in here are so good. It's such a blessing. So you want to, if you can, go to JoyceMyers.com and get your copy. I promise you, you'll be blessed. And always remember, spread love every day. I love you all. God bless.